All right, my name is Barjir, and this is my interview with Jerry about car modifications about so many legal. So, Jerry, when you start getting in the mind? When I was about 16 years old, that's when I decided that I, you know, I had a job and I had money to get a car for myself. All right. So, like, the first car that you started doing modifications on, what was it? It was a 1997 Dodge Neon. It was the newest car. It was the newest and cheapest car I could get for the price. I couldn't afford the Hondas, really, at the time, so I stuck with this, and then I started doing research on it, found out what I liked, what I didn't like, what I wanted to buy, what I realistically could buy, and then I just went from there. All right. So, um, back in high school, what was the, like, the easiest modification for you to do in the vehicle? All right. What I did in high school is I first started out with an intake. It helps the engine breathe a little bit better, mm -hmm. and it's, uh, it, it takes your factory uh, plastics off and usually replace it with a nice metal pipe with a nice aftermarket filter. And then I went to an exhaust, which makes the car louder, also helps the engine breathe better. But predominantly, the reason you do exhaust is for sound. So, um, why do most people, why do you think most people do modifications to the It's a hobby. It's, uh, it, it's, we're enthusiasts. We love, we love to do it. And, um, it, it's something meaningful. It's something personal. You can make the car special to you. If we all drove the same car, no one would be unique. No car would be unique. So we take it, we change the color, change the wheels, lower them down. Maybe you know, do custom uh, customization on the interior. You got to make it for your own, make it yourself. Okay. So um, the modifications you spent, you specified, the intake and exhaust. Can you show show us what those are? I can show you uh, right now the cars being worked on on the inside. Okay. I can show you the front. This is the intake system. You know, walk over here. This is a more advanced intake system for a turbo vehicle, but it has an aftermarket intercooler. Hard piping, like what I was talking about, and uh, three ply silicone uh, hoses. It keeps the air tight, makes sure there's no leaks and everything. And obviously, it's right in the front where you can get nice, cool air coming in. And then to the rear, can't see the whole exhaust, but this is a muffler. Obviously, it's a lot bigger than stock. Usually, it's a three inch muffler with a four inch tip. Factory exhaust is usually about maybe two inches, so we, you know, we go from two to a three inch piping. And then we go to a four inch tip, which makes the engine uh, breathe a lot better. All right, so Jody, is there anything else that you would like to tell people about modif modifying their cars and what to be safe about and everything like that? Yeah, the one thing I like to say is, um, especially with cars, if you're gonna, you know, maybe take it to the racetrack or, you know, you, you drive more aggressively, it's just the biggest thing I tell, especially younger people, is to, if, if you don't know how to do it, find someone who can teach you how to do it right. Don't jump into it. You don't think you don't know what you're doing because you know a vehicle is you know, 2,500 to 3,500 pounds, and you know if you're traveling at a high rate of speed and something breaks off because you didn't do it right, you can not only cost your own life but someone else's life. So the biggest thing is to do it right and do it safe. All right. So Jody, thanks for the time, and hope to see you later on. Thank you.